Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, Todd Henson here with the National RV Training Academy, bringing the Tech Tip Tuesday on location at the Big Red School House. All right, so you see behind me, we do have students that are working on furnaces, so I thought it would be a good time to go ahead and review a product related to propane. Now, most of you who ever come to my class, you know I'm a big proponent on you not traveling down the road with your propane on. You know, now here's the thing, it's not illegal. To me, it's just one of those things you shouldn't do. However, there is a product out there that does allow for a little bit more safety and it's called the gas stop. Now, typically I've never talked about it because again, I'm very serious about not driving down the road with the propane on. However, there are certain circumstances where it's kind of a catch 22. If you're traveling up north, it's very cold. Uh, and you are traveling from one destination to another, your pipes are going to freeze if you have not winterized. And in that case, you know, some people may actually be running with a propane on. Now, here's the thing. I met with the guys over uh, at Gas Stop, Martin and Mike. And of course, we were just talking back and forth. They told, you know, they totally agree as well about not traveling down the road with your propane on. However, they gave me a piece of advice. And, you know, as I thought about it, it was really good. Now, here's the thing. With the gas stop, what it does, I want to talk about the difference between the two. On your standard uh, DOT cylinder, your service valve, whether it's a DOT or an ASME tank, this service valve has an excess flow valve feature. What it'll do is if there's too much drop in pressure, in other words, we got a break in the line or something like that, there's a little device inside this service valve that will slow down the flow of propane. Now, the service valve that's equipped on your tank uh, cylinder or tank will not stop the flow of propane. So should you have a catastrophic break and traveling down the road and you have a, a tire separation or something like that and it breaks your lines, this would actually severely slow down the flow of propane. It wouldn't stop it. That's kind of a problem, right? Because all we need is a spark. And if we have a spark and we have propane flow, well, we've got problems. So of course, what they did, the, the guys over here at Gas Stop, they created the same device, excess flow valve, but it completely stops the flow of propane. Okay, that's great. You know, that does add a feature of safety if you're traveling down the road and your propane is on. Not even on, but you just have it on. Let's say no appliances are on. This will help protect it. It adds a level of safety. Okay, so that's great. But there's one more thing that they had told me about this that I think now I've changed my mind that I think this is good for everybody. Now, you notice that every time you fill up your, you know, you switch out your DOT cylinder or your tank or something like that, you get a whiff of propane, actually ethyl mercaptan, right? So you, as you fill that up, you get a whiff and you don't know whether you have a leak at one of your um, connections or at the cylinder itself. Well, here's the thing. All of these have what's called a vent right here. I've got a diaphragm inside. What will take place is if that diaphragm is completely relaxed, it's under a spring, and I hit it with a lot of pressure of propane, the vent is there to protect that diaphragm from you know, collapsing. So a little bit of comes out. Doesn't happen all the time, but if you ever notice that whenever you switch out your cylinders, you're gonna get that woof. And then you begin to wonder, do I have a leak or not, okay? Well, what you can do with the gas stop is just perform a leak test. Now, this is not uh, something that we would do, say, as inspectors, but on the gas stop itself, it does have a small uh, dial on there. What you can do is charge the system. Now, this is what you need to do. All you have to do is go in, turn off everything that calls for propane, so no propane appliances. Charge the system by opening up your valve and then shutting it off. Okay, service valve is now closed. The system is charged. You're going to see an indicator of where this is. Take a picture. Take a picture of that. Walk away, whichever. Come back in about five minutes. Five minutes. Take another picture. The reason why I say take pictures is because when you take pictures, you can easily compare the two and you can see if the uh, indicator has changed uh, positions. Now, why would you do that? Guys, a lot of us, there's been multiple instances where we, we smell propane, we smell that ethyl mercaptan, and we begin to wonder, do we have a leak? Being able to do this simple test takes away the fear, but it gives us that peace of mind, okay? Believe me, we've all been around campfires or something like that. You don't know if it's your rig, someone else's rig, or something else, right? 
So not only, you know, if you have this, not only can you check yours, but of course you can take it off if there's a neighbor or something like that. Go ahead and put this in line and test it there. So for peace of mind, this is absolutely worth it. And of course, if you must, if you must travel down the road with your propane on, you definitely need this. I also have something that right now in the RV market, no one else is doing. For those of us with a split cylinder system, let's say we have this. Okay, we got a fifth wheel or something like that. I've got a tank on the other side. You ever notice that we really have to bend that pigtail? And every time you switch out, you know, these, these cables are hard. Well, they came out with a 90 degree, right? A 90 degree angle that makes it a heck of a lot easier. Okay, he heck of a lot easier for us uh, to go ahead and, you know, put the uh, cylinders on, take the tanks off. Okay, so even though this is high pressure, it's rated at 250 PSIG, it's still very bendable, right? So they have it both in the uh, web, but also in the rubber. So here's the thing, as the tech tip, a couple things. Every time you open this up on a hot day or something like that, you may catch a whiff of that uh, Ethel Mercaptain. Just keep in mind that may be the vent. Best thing to do is if you have a gas stop, take a you know, charge system, turn this off, take a picture, walk away, five minutes later, come back, take another picture, and that will give you the peace of mind whether you have a leak or not, okay? As well, they have these here, but in all cases, guys, consider not traveling down the road with your propane on, right? Especially if you're going through tunnels or filling up at a fuel station. Those are illegal. You gotta turn them off, okay? Otherwise, go ahead and get this. Give yourself peace of mind. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just wanna learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, Roll the bloopers. Uh, Mike and Mark. Was it right? Did I say Mike and Mark? Martin. <laughs> La -di da. All right. Takes away a lot of that fear and it gives us, you know, that, um, what the hell does it give us? Assurance. Peace of mind. That's what I was looking for. Bam.